So I did a contest, name these two signals and win hundred bucks. I'm gonna announce at the end of this episode who won the hundred. So stay tuned to the end, especially if you're somebody who guessed. But if you didn't guess, you should maybe stop real quick, head back to the last episode and check out those two signals and see if you know what they are because everyone's gonna be blown away. All right, Brad and I, we're back at the river bottoms, which we've had awesome success here. I got a seated dime, Indian head penny. I got a gun, clips, spoons, buckles, you name it. It's a little rainy, mosquitoes are out, but I got my first good target. Let's see what it is. Check that out. I've never got a clip like that. I'm not really sure what that is. Anyways, it was ringing real nice. It was a 23 on the Equinox. No, well, let me know, guys. Okay, so I got a 30 here somewhere. It's probably a clad quarter. But where I'm digging, you just never know. But there it is. Just as I expected, clad quarter. So you have a little modern mixed in here because people still use this area. But man, there's a lot of good old stuff here. <laughs> I have no idea what I got here. This is ringing up a 19. What is that? Is that just a huge, awesome button? Wow, I think it is. Or, I don't know, is that on a saddle? Some sort of saddle decoration? Thing's killer. That's well, coming up a 19. Huh. Yeah, who knows? That's amazing, though. Okay, so I got a pretty deep bullet here. Nice and white. It's definitely been in there a while. So I think that's an early 1900s military bullet. And I, have, I did find a military button at this in this area too. So look at this. That is got to be old. That looks like an old piece of toy. Like maybe an old airplane. Anybody know what that's what that is? Let me know. It's awesome. Brad just noticed there's a cross on the tail or whatever it is. Huh. Yeah, I think I got something cool here. Oh yeah. Look at that fancy schmancy. You know what? It might have been like an old pendant or something. See how it's got the little eyelet to hang stuff off? Or maybe maybe some gaudy earrings. That's neat though. It's beautiful stuff down here. Okay, I don't know what I have here. Is that a reflector? Or the really fancy top to like a makeup thing or something. Look how weird it is. You tell me. Okay, so I got me a 2021 deep one. I got something around here. Let's see what we got. You know what? That is weird. I wonder if that's like a game piece. Because look, it's just kind of, it's real heavy, like lead. It's just kind of got a design on the top. Yeah. I mean, I'm just guessing, but that would be my guess. Game piece.
Okay, so I have a coin here in the hole. Don't know what it is. What do we got? Well, looks like a Lincoln. Maybe a really old weedy. Yeah, it's gonna be a weed. Let me see if I can get a date. Hold on a sec. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see, but it's a 1955, so not that old, but you guys gotta look close, because that could be a 1955 double die. Those are worth a lot of money, but not this time. So I got something around in the hole again, and you know what? It looks like another one of those, I don't know, buttons or something. Whatever I found before. That's two. It's like the bottom sides fell out of this one, though. <laughs> oh, every time. There's the harmonica reed. It always sounds so good. You're like, oh, a coin. Nope. Awesome, though. So I don't really know what to make of this. It's like some sort of maybe old like makeup case or something. And then I guess it was silver plated. Because it looks pretty coppery most of it, but then silver. Well, I just got me a button, a little four hole. Looks like it's in pretty rough shape. I don't know if it's silver plated or that's just, it's kind of light. I don't know if that's like tin or aluminum or something. All right, Brad says he's got a button. Don't make much of it though. Oh, trousers. Yeah, not much on that one. Button fly, 501s. Button's a button though. Kind of an interesting little part. Has a W on there. Hopefully you can see that. Both sides. Well, Brad's got something he says is interesting. <clears throat> See what he's got. It's like a locking door to something. Oh, dude, that's awesome. What? See the hinge pins right here, the locking mechanism. Dude, that's so fancy. Nice relic, man. It's beautiful. Huh. Something out of the ordinary. Yeah, that is sweet. Dude. Fancy. Yeah. I like it. Alright, hold it out. Brad does not know what that is. That is a hem weight. So oh, off so a skirt? Skirt or a jacket. They'd sew it in. So it wouldn't fly up. Yeah, that's a that's a sweet little relic there, man. Well, Brad had a slow start, but he's coming on strong now. Oh, boom, buckle. Yeah. And some funky shiny rock too. It is funky shiny. I Good think it's melted too. glass. This is like year of the train buttons for me. Well, it must have been pretty popular to put trains on buttons because I found quite a few like that this year. But there's another one. Pretty cool. This funny thing, let's see what Brad thinks of this. You don't know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely something. <laughs> it is something. <laughs> with something with a nail in it, too. <laughs> All right, but why would you have two of the identical ones nailed through there? So you don't lose it. 
<laughs> no idea. What the heck is that? <laughs> Axle to something maybe? That looks like a handle almost. <laughs> well, I just dug a, another uh, rifle cartridge. But in the same hole was this crown brand, crown brand button top. It's kind of nice. I just got it wet. Now you can't see it. <laughs> Looks like Brad got him some military. Look at that. That is beautiful. Huh. Backs toes probably, huh? Yeah. Can tell it's a two piece, but shank's gone. I don't really see any riding on the back either. Wow, guys, I have never seen this before. Maybe you have. I think I have a really old lighter. It says Bowers, and then there's like a flame on the end or in the picture. Do you guys see that? And this thing is neat. That is crazy. I don't know. I've never seen anybody dig one on YouTube either. Guess I'm just assuming that's a lighter, but I don't know what else would be. And then like this little thing kind of. I don't want to break it, but it kind of slides out of the way. Like that's where the flame would come out. Awesome. Okay, so I got more info on this thing. So this apparently is a World War I trench lighter. And I guess, so it's a Bowers, and they're known for never failing. It is missing a piece. There was like, uh, like an arm that came up, and then the striking wheel sat right up here. But one thing that's on here that's still there that's kind of cool is this little pin, which I think you would use to uh, clean the gas hole out, which I could use that right now. But there is a World War II version, but after looking at them all, I'm pretty sure this is the World War I. So that put this like real early 1900s. Man, that thing is so cool. Definitely my favorite find of the day. Okay, I see a coin. I don't know if it's going to be old or new. Uh, new coin. That well, happens. So, I've been having a hard time with my battery on my Equinox lately. It used to last like two days. Now I'm lucky if I get like, I don't know, six, seven hours out of it, it seems like. So maybe you search this thing out. And if you look, it's like a little battery that just clips on to your Equinox shaft. And then you plug it in like normal. And then look, it's charging while you detect. So you can get a lot more um, length out of your battery life. But anyways, I think these things are awesome but because if you're like you know, up in the mountains for a couple days camping, or you just forget to plug it in, you don't have to be done. You just hook this thing up, and you can go. Anyways, I got this at uh, High Plains Prospecting. If you look in my description, there's links to their site. And if you buy through them, through my link, of course, it does help the channel. But <clears throat> regardless of uh, that, I just think it's a really good idea. So, I don't know. Check it out, guys. Well, they got me a little button. Nothing too special. Fortunately, I'm about to the end of the hunt, but hey, not a bad little relic hunt. Stay tuned to see who uh, won the $100 from the two signal contest. Okay. So you guys all guessed. Here's the big reveal. First signal. One ounce Canadian maple leaf, gold, pure gold. Okay, here's the reveal on signal two. Let's 
So that is a five cent silver Canadian, basically half dime. I think they call them fish scales. <laughs> okay, so now that you've seen, I bet the last thing you thought was that gold would be that high tone. So you gotta remember, a lot of the number system is about size of the object. So most things you get them big enough, they become a high tone. And then of course, with the silver, you get them small enough, you know, and they can even become a mid-tone. So, you know, there's a whole range. That's why you kind of got to dig everything. And, you know, the more you dig, the cooler the stuff you're going to find. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there. Find some treasure.